Hey everyone, my name is Melissa Broad and today I'm going to be teaching you a condensed version of the short form Ashtanga series. So short form Ashtanga is actually derived from the primary series, um, so it's already condensed a little bit, but today my flow is going to be even more condensed. So it's for people who want a good, solid, strong practice, but they don't necessarily have an hour to do it. So this flow is for you. Um, this is going to go through the sun salutation A and B, a lot of the standing series and some seated postures and close out with a nice shavasana. So um, as you practice, I encourage you to just do what you can, follow along and take breaks as needed. So to begin, we'll be um, starting in a comfortable seated position, sitting up nice and tall, dropping the shoulders down away from the ears and then closing the eyes. Rest your hands somewhere on your lap where you can forget about them for a while. And without trying to change anything, just start to acknowledge where you're starting from today. So without judgment, just starting to take inventory of how your body's feeling, where your mind is at. Just allowing the breath to gently travel in and out through the nose. Tuning in. Allowing yourself to become present here on the mat. Starting at the crown of your head, just start to soften the muscles of the face. Work down to the jawline, to the shoulders, through the chest, low belly, and all the way to the seat. Letting go of any tension you might be holding on to. And then also letting go of any expectations you may have for the practice. So allowing yourself to be okay with whatever comes up for you. Still softening down through the shoulders, still breathing nice and deep. We'll start to invite a deeper breath into the body. So on your inhales, allow the low belly to really fill up with air. Allow that breath to travel up to the rib cage, to the collarbones. And then exhale, take it out the same way. So collarbones, rib cage, low belly gently draws in. Take another deep inhale, fill the body up with breath. And when you get to the top, gently release. So working the breath into almost like a cycle. So as soon as you get to the top, release it back. Take about two or three more deep breaths here, maybe inviting some sound into the breath by gently constricting the muscles in the back of the throat. This is called Ujjayi Pranayama. here just for a few more moments really tuning in and then when you're ready we'll gently start to transition into table pose so you can keep the eyes closed if you want or gently um, blink them open we will just start to roll over your knees coming into table pose so for table pose bringing the hands just below the shoulders knees just below the hips nice neutral spine and starting to draw the low belly muscles in engaging there and we'll start to warm up the spine, some cat cow. So inhale, take your gaze up, drop your belly down. On your exhale, start to round your spine, tuck your chin to your chest. Take another deep inhale, gazing up, dropping the belly down. Exhale, tuck the chin, round the spine. Beautiful. So take a few more rounds of this at the rate of your own breath. Maybe moving from side to side or making circles with your hips. Just allowing your body to move intuitively, however feels good and natural. Keeping the deep breath going in and out through your nose though. So keeping in mind that the breath is the most important part of any yoga practice. If you're not breathing strong, you need to reconnect to that breath. Because that is where all your poses will come from. And a few more rounds here. And then gently meeting back in table pose. Coming right into downward facing dog. So rolling over your toes, taking your hips up to the sky. Coming into down dog. So pressing your fingers nice and wide on the mat. Press down through the heels, lift up through the low belly. Take your gaze soft past your knees. So this Posture, this sub um, flow, is assuming that you know the basics of sun A and sun salutation B. I will be giving minimal instruction on these. 
So again, just tuning in, doing what you can. On your next exhale, step your feet up to the top of your mat, pausing in a standing forward fold just briefly. Allowing the crown of the head to fall down towards the mat, maybe swaying a little bit from side to side. And then on your inhale, start to engage your legs one vertebrae at a time, like slowly begin to rise up to standing. Take your arms up overhead, allow your gaze to follow. And then exhale, drawing your hands into your heart. Sun salutation A. Inhale, take your arms up overhead, gazing up. Exhale, fold forward over straight legs. Inhale, look up halfway, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step your feet back, lower through your yoga push-up, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Hold here for three breaths. On your next exhale, step your feet up to the top of your mat. Inhale, look up halfway, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, root through your feet, rise up to standing, arms and gaze go up. Exhale, draw your hands into your heart. Let's take that again. Inhale, arms up overhead, gazing up. Exhale, fold forward over straight legs. Inhale, look up halfway, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step your feet back, lower through. Inhale to Upward Facing Dog. Exhale to Downward Facing Duck. Three breaths. Spreading your fingers nice and wide. Pressing your heels down. Still engaging through the full body. On your next exhale, step or float your feet forward. Inhale, look up halfway length in your spine. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, root through your feet. Rise up to standing. Arms and gaze go up. Exhale, draw your hands into your heart. Last time here. Inhale, take your arms up overhead, gazing up. Exhale, fold forward over straight legs. Inhale, look up halfway, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step or jump your feet back, lower through. Inhale, up dog. Exhale to downward facing dog, five breaths. So reconnecting with your thoughts, reconnecting with your breath here knowing that you can take any resting position if you need it. On your next exhale, step or float your feet to the top of your mat. Inhale, look up halfway, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, root through your feet, rise up to standing, arms and gaze go up. Exhale, draw your hands into your heart. Sun salutation B. On your inhale, bend your knees deep, sink down, come into chair pose. Drop down into the feet, anchor through the tailbone, through, reach through the sides, out through the fingertips. On your exhale, fold forward over straight legs. Inhale, look up halfway, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step or jump your feet back, lower through. Inhale, up dog. Exhale to downward facing dog, left heel movement sound, right foot steps forward. Inhale, coming up for warrior one. Pausing just for breath. And then exhale, plant your hands down, step your right foot back. Lower through. Inhale, up dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Right heel pivots down, left foot steps forward. Inhale to warrior one. Pause for a breath. And then exhale, plant your hands down. Step your left foot back, lower through. Inhale, up dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Three breaths here. So starting to build a little energy, build a little heat. Again, come back to the breath. On your exhale, step or float your feet forward. Inhale, look up halfway, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold in. On your inhale, bend your knees deep, sink down, come into chair pose. Exhale, draw your hands into your heart. Two more times. Inhale, bend your knees deep, come into chair pose. Exhale, fold forward over your straight legs. Inhale, look up halfway, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step or float your feet back, lower through. Inhale, up dog. Exhale to downward facing dog, left heel pivot down, right foot steps forward. Inhale to Virabhadrasana A, warrior one. Exhale, plant your hands down, step your right foot back, lower through. Inhale, up dog. Exhale to downward facing dog, right heel pivot down, left foot steps forward. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. 
Exhale, plant your hands down. Step your left foot back, lower through. Inhale, up dog. Exhale into downward facing dog. Five breaths. Three breaths. On your next exhale, step or float your feet forward. Inhale, look up halfway, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold in here. On your inhale, bend your knees deep, sink down, chair pose. Exhale, draw your hands into your heart. Last time. Inhale, bend your knees deep, sink down, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward over straight legs. Inhale, look up halfway, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step or dump your feet back, lower through. Inhale, up dog. Exhale to downward facing dog, left heel pivots down, right foot steps forward. Inhale, warrior one. On your exhale, plant your hands down. Step your right foot back, lower through. Inhale, up dog. Exhale to downward facing dog, right heel pivots down, left foot steps forward. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, plant your hands down. Step your left foot back, lower through. Inhale, up dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Three breaths. On your next exhale, step or float your feet to the top of your mat. Inhale, look up halfway, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold in. On your inhale, bend your knees deep, sink down, come into chair pose. Exhale, draw your hands into your heart. Pause here for a few breaths. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale, release it out of your mouth. So moving forward from here. This next pose um, is called Padangusasana, hand to big toe posture. So on your next inhale, you'll bring your feet hip distance apart. Exhale, bring your hands to your hips. On your inhale, take your gaze up and back. And then on your exhale, fold forward over your straight legs, reaching for your big toes with your peace fingers. So taking your um, pointer finger and your middle finger around your big toe, inhale, look up, halfway lengthen your spine, and then exhale, fold in here. If it's difficult to uh, reach the toes, just place a gentle bend in the knees. Allow the crown of the head to fall down towards the mat. And breathe. On your next inhale, look up halfway length in your spine. Exhale, bring your hands to your hips. Slowly start to rise up the standing, engaging through your legs. Exhale, draw your hands into your heart. So you'll be facing the front of your mat when you do this. I'm just doing it for demonstration purposes. But uh, for the next pose, coming into triangle pose. On your inhale, start to take your right foot out to the back of your mat. Arms are in a T. On your exhale, pivot your feet to the right. Extend your right arm out and then lower down to whatever's available. So the thigh, shin, foot, or a block if you need it. And then inhale, take your left arm up towards the sky. Press into your feet, open the heart. Gaze strong past the left fingertips. On your next exhale, gently gaze down at your right foot. Inhale, slowly rise up to standing, arms in a T. On your exhale, you're just gonna switch. So pivot your feet to the left, extend your left arm out and then lower it down to whatever's available. Inhale, right arm reaches up towards the sky, gazing past your right fingertips here. So again, pressing down firmly through both feet. So breathing nice and deep into the low belly, still engaging through the legs. On your next exhale, gently gaze down at your left foot, keeping your legs the same. Use the strength of your legs. Inhale, rise up the standing arms in a T. On your exhale, you're going to pivot your feet to the right and bring your right hand to your right hip. Adjust your stance so your feet are square to the short edge of your mat, and then inhale, take your left arm up towards the sky. On your exhale, fold, take your left hand to the inside or outside of the right foot, 
and then inhale, take your right arm up towards the sky here. This is reverse triangle. So still engaging through the low belly, sending the right hip back, left hip forward, trying to breathe, maintain that deep breath, even though it's tricky in the twisting positions. On your next inhale, slowly rise up to standing, arms in a T. Exhale, just pivot your feet to the left. So left hand to left hip, adjust your hips so they're square, and then inhale, right arm reaches up. Exhale, fold, take your right hand to the inside or outside of that left foot. Inhale, left arm reaches up towards the sky, and breathe. Left hip goes back, right hip goes forward. Lift through the low belly. See if you can twist a little bit more. Again, you can always use a block if you need that extra support. And then inhale, slowly begin to rise up to standing. Arms are always in a T. And then exhale, put your hands into your heart at the top of your mat. Take a breath. Moving forward, side angle pose. On your inhale, take your right foot to the back of your mat. Arms in a T. On your exhale, pivot your feet to the right and lunge. Bring your right forearm to your right thigh. Inhale, take your left arm up and over, gazing strong past your left fingertips. So right knee directly above the right ankle, outside edge of the left foot roots down. Beautiful. On your next inhale, slowly rise at the standing arms in a T. Exhale, pivot your feet to the left. Lunge, left forearm to left thigh. Inhale, right arm reaches up and over, gazing past the right fingertips. Left knee directly above the left ankle, outside edge of the right foot roots down. Engage the legs, lift through the low belly still, and maintain your deep breath. On your next inhale, gently rise up to standing, arms in a T. On your exhale, pivot your feet to the right and lunge. This time we're coming into revolve side angle. So bringing your left elbow to the outside edge of your right thigh, palms together, and you twist. So if you need to drop down to your knee for a modification, you're welcome to. Otherwise, stay planted with your foot pivoted, press into the palms, and gaze strong over your right shoulder, or your right elbow. Keep breathing nice and deep. And then on your next inhale, slowly begin to rise at the standing, arms in a T. Exhale, just pivot your feet to the left. Lunge, right elbow to the outside edge of the left thigh, palms together and twist. Again, dropping down to the knee if you need the extra support. But challenging yourself, doing the things that you think you cannot do. So finding your edge, never went past it. Just being willing to experience new things. On your next inhale, slowly rise up to standing, arms in the T. Exhale, draw your hands to your heart on top of your mat, Savasti. Beautiful. Moving forward. Prasrita Padottanasana, that's a wide leg stance. So on your inhale, start to take your right foot nice and wide to the back of your mat, arms in a T. Pause for a second, look down at your feet. Make sure your feet are square to the short edge of your mat. Your wrist should be just above your ankles, if that's okay on your body. From there, on your exhale, bring your hands to your hips. Inhale, take your gaze up and back, opening the heart here, and then exhale, fold forward, bringing your hands down to the mat. Lift up on your inhale, halfway, and then exhale, fold forward, deeper. Allowing the crown of your head to fall down towards the mat, Still lifting through the low belly, engaging through the legs. So don't forget to keep everything engaged and active. That's how you get the most out of your pose. Take another deep inhale here. And then on your inhale, look up halfway, lengthen your spine. Exhale, bring your hands to your hips. Inhale, slowly begin to rise up to standing. Exhale, draw your hands to your heart at the top of your mat. Take a breath. Moving forward. On your inhale, take your right foot to the middle of your mat. Shorter stance this time. Your arms will be in a T. 
on your exhale, bring your hands behind you. In inner, you can either reach for opposing elbows, or you can bring your hands behind you in reverse prayer, which will look like that. So whatever is okay on your body, find that place, and then on your inhale, you'll pivot your feet to the right. Take your gaze up and back on that same inhale, and then exhale, fold forward over that straight right leg. So if you need to widen your stance, you want your hips parallel to the short edge of your mat. Setting your right hip back, left hip forward, and take your gaze past your toes. So don't worry about tucking your nose to your knee. Breathe. And on your next inhale, slowly begin to rise up to standing. Keep your hands as they are. Exhale, just pivot your feet to the left. Adjust your stance so your hips are nice and square. And then inhale, start to take your gaze up and back, opening the heart. And then exhale, fold forward over that straight left leg. Still lifting through the low belly, gazing strong past the left toes. And then on your next inhale, slowly begin to rise up to standing. You can release your arms into a T. And on your exhale, turn your hands to your heart or the top of your mat. So this next posture is a balancing posture. And if you have a wall space at home, you might want to step over to the wall if you um, need some support with the balancing. Otherwise, you're just going to want to find a position either on or off your mat where you can find your feet nice and firmly grounded. So we'll start by shifting your weight over into our left foot. So gently just start to shift over that way. And once you feel good on your inhale, you'll begin to take your right leg up. Now, you can keep your right knee in contact with your right hand, or if it's available and you want to challenge yourself, you can reach for your big toe with your peace fingers and then extend the right leg out in front of you. Allow yourself to shake, allow yourself to have fun with it. And again, if you try the big toe posture and you need to come back out of it, you can always just bend your knee. On your inhale, you start to take the leg out to the right. If you want to challenge your balance, see, I fell out of it. If you want to challenge your balance, take your gaze to the left. Inhale, come back through center. And then exhale, just set the knee down. Shake it out. And then it'll come into the other side. Slowly start to shift your weight over into your right foot. Feel all four corners of your feet firmly rooted down. And once you feel good there on your inhale, you'll slowly start to bring your leg up, reaching for your knee, where if it's available, reach for your big toes. Send it out. I'm going to stand my knee on this one. So just be willing to fall out of the pose. You're willing to have fun with it. But focus your attention on that straight right standing leg. Crown up the head, reaching high, breath staying strong. Inhale that leg out to the left. Maybe challenge your balance, take your gaze to the right. Inhale, come back to your center. And then exhale, release it out. Good job, shake it out. And then we'll meet back at the top of the mat. Going through a quick sun salutation. On your inhale, take your arms up overhead, gazing up. Exhale, fold forward over straight legs. Inhale, look up halfway, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step or float your feet back, lower through. Inhale, up dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Left heel pivots down, right foot steps forward. Inhale to warrior one. Pause here. Breathe. And then slowly start to straighten your right leg. On your exhale, just pivot your feet to the left. Lunge. Come into warrior one facing the other side of the room. Pause. Breathe. And now coming into warrior two, new pose for the sequence. On your exhale, you'll just open your stance, get narrow on your mat, still keeping that nice deep lunge in that left leg. The right foot is now square to the short edge of your mat. Extending out through the arms, dropping the shoulders down, gazing strong past your left fingertips. Inhale, slowly start to straighten that left leg. Exhale, just pivot your feet to the right. 
Lunge, warrior two facing the front of the room now. Breathe. And then exhale, windmill your hands down around your right foot. Step it back, lower through. Inhale to up dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. And once you're complete there, just step or float your three feet through to seated with your legs extended out in front of you. So coming into, this is called the seated position staff pose. So you're going to keep your hands planted by your sides, palms down. Press down into the floor. Sit up nice and tall. Maybe close the eyes here. Draw the shoulders down and away from the ears and just enjoy being grounded. On your inhale, start to take your arms and your gaze up. On your exhale, fold forward, reaching for whatever you can with your feet coming into a seated forward fold. Inhale, look up and lengthen your spine. And exhale, fold forward here. Still engaging through the legs, gazing past the toes. Inhale, slowly start to come back up. So as you start to come back up, you're going to plant your hands down by your sides, palms down, fingers facing the front of the room, coming into reverse plank or reverse table, whatever is better for your body. So from there, once you feel, um, feel stable, you're going to start to press into your hands, lift your hips up towards the sky, and then exhale out the crown of the head to fall back between your shoulders. If that's too much, place a gentle bend in your knees and come into reverse table. And if that's too much, stay seated with your bottom planted and then just open your heart that way. Take another deep breath here. And then wherever you're at, gently release everything down to the mat. Beautiful. So doing some vinyasas in between each of the sequences is um, an option through this past or through this series. So I'll demonstrate a vinyasa and I'll offer them throughout the next couple poses. Um, but you do not have to do them. So I'll turn this way. For a vinyasa, on your inhale, you'll take your arms and your legs up. And then on your exhale, you'll cross your ankles, roll over your knees, plant your hands, and then you step or jump back through. And then just work through. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. And then you work your way back through to seated with your legs extended out. So completely optional after the next couple postures. So moving forward from here, sitting up nice and tall. On your exhale, start to bring your right foot in, plant your right foot to the inside of your left thigh. So your right leg is almost in a little tree pose position here. On your inhale, take your arms and your gaze up, and then exhale, fold forward, reaching for what you can over your left leg. Inhale, look up and lengthen your spine, and then exhale, fold forward here. Inhale, gently start to come back up. Exhale, just switch your feet. So this time your left foot comes to the inside of your right thigh, right legs extended out nice and long. Inhale, take your arms and your gaze up, and then exhale, fold forward over your straight right leg. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, fold forward here. If you want to enhance or um, intensify the pose, reach for the outside edge of your right foot with your left hand. Inhale, gently start to come back up. Exhale, release your left leg. And if you'd like to do a vinyasa, you may. Or if you'd like to just stay seated on your mat, you may do that as well. Just take the next couple breaths to do what you need to do and move back in a comfortable seated position. Okay, moving forward from here. On your inhale, slowly start to bring your right foot in. Plant your right foot to the inside of your left thigh. 
You want to keep about a fist distance space between your foot and your thigh. From there, on your exhale, bring your right hand behind you, palms down, fingers facing the back of the room, and then inhale, take your left arm up. Exhale, twist, take your left arm to the outside edge of your right thigh, and press your arm into your leg, twist, gazing strong over your right shoulder. Pressing into the right hand, sitting up nice and tall, still keeping that deep breath, going strong. Inhale, slowly come back to your center. Exhale, release your right leg. On your inhale, start to bring your left foot in. Plant your left foot to the inside of your right thigh, keeping that space between the two. And then exhale, plant your left hand behind you, palms down, fingers face back. Inhale, right arm reaches up. Exhale, twist. Right arm outside edge of the left leg. Pressing firmly into the left hand, sitting up nice and tall. Maintaining that deep breath. And then inhale, gently start to come back to your center. Exhale, release your leg and take the next few breaths to either take a vinyasa or to just rest here on your mat. Okay, moving forward, coming into boat pose. So to get into boat pose, you will bend your knees, plant your feet pretty close to your bottom. So you can keep your hands underneath your thighs for the extra support right now. But wherever you're at, start to sit up nice and tall. Drop the shoulders down away from the ears. Slowly start to lean back into the spine, keeping that straight spine and the open heart. If you feel good there with a the low belly engaged, gently start to lift your legs up off the floor. If you feel good there, you can start to take your arms out. If you feel great there, you can start to straighten your legs. On your next exhale, you'll cross your ankles, plant your hands. Inhale, give yourself a little bump up, reset. Exhale, slowly lower down. We'll do that two more times. So taking your version of boat pose, inhale, come back up, second set. Doing what you can to maintain, again, the straight spine. Drop the shoulders down away from the ears. Try smiling. Makes the pose easier, I promise. Allow yourself to shake. And then on your exhale, cross your ankles, plant your hands. Inhale, bump up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, come back up. Third and final set. You got this. You're strong. And then on your next exhale, slowly start to cross your ankles, plant your hands. This time you're going to come into a vinyasa. So I'm going to rotate on my mat. So you cross your ankles, plant your hands, and then you step or jump back into your vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale to down dog, and then step or jump all the way through and come into a lying position on your mat. So coming into bridge pose, our back bend. So for bridge pose, you'll bend your knees, plant your feet pretty close to your bottom. You can have your hands planted firmly on the mat next to you. On your inhale, start to press into your feet, lift your hips up off the sky. On your inhale, start to press into your feet, lift your hips up towards the sky. Now you can stay here, you can place a block or a book or something underneath your sacrum if you want that extra support. Otherwise, you'll interlace your fingers underneath your back, walk your shoulders in, and then lift up even more from there. If you want to challenge yourself, you can come up onto your toes. Just take a few deep breaths. 
and then exhale, gently lower down. Pause for a breath. And then inhale, come back up for a second set. So again, interlacing the fingers, if that feels good. Pressing down firmly into the feet, pushing the shins forward. Exhale, gently lower down. Hug your knees into your chest, give yourself a little squeeze. slowly start to rock up and down the length of your spine and then come back into seated with your legs extended out in front of you so I'll just stay this way for this time just coming into another seated forward fold on your inhale take your arms and your gaze up and then exhale fold forward reaching for what you can inhale look up and lengthen your spine and then exhale fold forward here Still trying to keep the deep breath nice and strong, still keeping the legs engaged. Gazing past the toes. Breathe nice and deep. Staying present on your mat. And on your next inhale, gently start to come all the way back up. Slowly start to transition onto your back. Coming into our inversion. So for the inversion in Ashtanga, you can do shoulder stand, you can do happy baby or plow pose. So for our inversion, we're going to go into candlestick first. So from a lying position on your back, on your inhale, you'll gently just start to take your legs up towards the sky. You can keep your legs straight, still engaging through the low belly. Keep your hands down, firmly planted on the mat. If you'd like to go to a wall and just do legs up the wall pose, you're welcome to do that. If you'd like to go into full shoulder stand from here, on your exhale, you'll start to bring your feet behind you on the floor. Bring your hands to your low back for support. Walk your shoulders in, and then from there, inhale, straighten your legs up towards the sky. Wherever you're at, just keeping your deep breath going, gazing past your toes. If you're in candlesticks, starting to come into happy baby pose by reaching for the outside edges of the feet, bending the knees. If you're in, um, if you're in shoulder stand, Coming into plow pose, bringing the feet behind you on the mat, interlacing your fingers behind your back. If you're in plow pose, gently releasing, being very mindful of your spine, meeting in happy baby. So, demonstrating this pose, bending the knees, reaching for the outside edges of the feet. If you want to roll around a little bit from side to side. And then everyone drawing your knees into your chest. Planting your feet on the mat, shifting your hips over to the left, allowing your knees to fall to the right. Maybe bringing your arms into a T, gazing over your opposite shoulder. Letting go of the deep breath. Inhale, slowly come back through center. Pick the hips up, shift them to the right. Allow the knees to fall to the left. Easing over the right shoulder now. You can start to close the eyes. And letting go.
Inhale, slowly come back through center. Hug your knees into your chest, just getting any last minute movements out of your system. gently releasing everything out onto the mat, coming into Shavasana. So splay the feet open towards the corners of the mat. Allow the palms to rest, to face up, resting by your side. Taking a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale out of your mouth. Gently starting to invite small movements back into your body. Wiggling the fingers and the toes. Reaching the hands up overhead, pointing the toes towards the front of the room, re-lengthening. And then exhale, drawing your knees into your chest for one final squeeze. Taking your time, rocking back and forth up the spine, coming to seated. Cross legs here, sitting up nice and tall. Taking three deep breaths. Blinking the eyes open, bringing the hands to the heart. Namaste.